let us show that the vectors u sub 1 equals 1, 1, 1, u sub 2 equals 1, 2, 3, and u sub 3 equals 1, 5, 8, span r. Step 1, let us set up a system of equations. The set S equals u sub 1, u sub 2, u sub 3 of vectors in R cube spans B equals R cube. If one star C sub 1 u sub 1 plus C sub 2 u sub 2 plus C sub 3 u sub 2 equals B sub 1 B sub 1 plus B sub 2 B sub 2 plus B sub 3 B sub 3 with B sub 1 equals 1 0 0, B sub 2 equals 0 1 0. B sub 3 equals 0, 0, 1. Has at least one solution for every set of values of the coefficients B sub 1, B sub 2, and B sub 3. Otherwise, if no solution exists for at least some values of B sub 1, B sub 2, and B sub 3, S does not stand B. With our vectors U sub 1, U sub 2, U sub 3, one star becomes C sub 1 times 1, 1, 1 plus C sub 2 times 1, 2, 3 plus C sub 3 times 1, 5, 8 is equal to B sub 1, 1, 0, 0, B sub 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, B sub 2, 0, 0, 1. Now we are arranging the left hand side as well as the right hand side. Yield 1, C sub 1 plus 1, C sub 2 plus 1 C sub 3, 1 C sub 1 plus 2 C sub 2 plus 5 C sub 3, 1 C sub 1 plus 3 C sub 2 plus 8 C sub 3 is equal to 1 D sub 1 plus 0 D sub 2 plus 0 D sub 2, 0 D sub 1 plus 1 D sub 2 plus 0 D sub 3, 0 D sub 1 plus 0 D sub 2 plus 1 D sub 2. The matrix equation above is equivalent to the following system of equations. Two stars, 1 C sub 1 plus 1 C sub 2 plus 1 C sub 3 is equal to 1 D sub 1 plus 0 D sub 2 plus 0 D sub 3. 1 C sub 1 plus 2 C sub 2 plus 5 C sub 3 is equal to 0 D sub 1 plus 1 C sub 2 plus 0 D sub 2. The third one, 1 C sub 1 plus 3 C sub 2 plus 8 C sub 3 is equal to 0 D sub 1 plus 0 D sub 3 plus 1 D sub 3. The second step, let us transform the augmented matrix to the reduced row echelon form. Transform the augmented matrix of the system to the reduced row echelon form to determine whether the system is consistent for all right hand sides so that S spans V or inconsistent for at least some right hand sides S does not span V. Now here is our augmented matrix where the identity is already placed in the right portion. Now to get the second row, we have to subtract R sub 2 minus R sub 1. So the first and third rows retained as 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 8, 0, 0, 1. And the result of our operation in the second row becomes 0, 1, four, negative 1, 1, 0. To get the third row, we are going to subtract R sub 3 and R sub 1. So notice that the first and second row retained as 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 4, negative 1, 1, 0. So the result becomes 0, 2, 7, negative 1, 0, negative 1. Again, the third row, we have to subtract R sub 3 and twice R sub 2. So the first and second column again retain as 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 4, negative 1, 1, 0. And the result in the third row are the following 0, 0, negative 1, 
one, negative two, and one. Now let us have the next matrix. R sub three minus twice R sub two. So we we have retained first and second rows. We have one 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 zero zero and zero one four negative one one zero and the results of the operations here in the third row we are the following zero zero negative one one negative two and one next again for the third row we are going to multiply negative one with this third row so the third row becomes Zero, zero, positive one, negative one, positive two, and negative one. Next, so to get the second row, we are going to subtract mm -hmm. r sub two minus four times r sub three. So we can we notice that the first and third columns are retained as one 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 zero 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 one negative one two negative one. The result of our operations in the second row are the following zero one two three negative seven four. Now let us have the first row, row one minus row three. So our second and third column uh, rows retained at 0, 1, 0, 3, negative 7, 4, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1. And the result of our operation here are the following 1, 1, 0, 2, negative 2, 1. And the last is to get the identity matrix in the left area, we are going to have row sub 1 by subtracting row sub 1 and row sub 2. So our second and third rows retained as 1, 0, 1, 0, 3, negative 7, 4, and 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1. And the result in the first row are one zero zero negative one five and negative three. Let's proceed to the third step and to correct the reduced row echelon form. Our form here is one zero zero <coughs> negative one five negative three zero one zero and uh, positive three negative zero four and zero zero one negative one two negative one. The reduced echelon form corresponds to the system of equations one c sub one equals negative one b sub one plus five b sub two minus three b sub three second one c sub two is equal to three b sub one minus seven b sub two plus four b sub two the third one c sub three is equal to Negative one b sub one plus two b sub two minus two sub one minus one b sub two. This system and the system double stars in the previous slide are consistent for all right hand side values. Therefore, S spans the space B. Our B is equal to R. 